Changes in surface area to volume ratio have important implications for limits on cell sizes. In this experiment, you will see a demonstration of how surface area to volume ratio changes with the size of a cell, and we will consider the impact this has on exchange of materials between the cell and its environment. A cell is a metabolic compartment where many different chemical reactions occur. In this demonstration, the cell is represented by cubes of different sizes. The larger the volume of the cell, the larger the number of metabolic reactions that takes place. Here the pink phenolphthalein indicator is used to visualize the volume of the cell. We are using three different size cubes here to represent three different size cells. The first has a side of one centimeter's length, the second two, and the third three centimeters length. Let's see how the surface area and the volume vary when we increase the size of the cells. As the size of the cell increases, so too does the surface area and volume. However, notice that the volume of the cell increases faster than the surface area when a cell grows, therefore decreasing its surface area to volume ratio. What this means is that the greater the size of the cell, the less surface area it has relative to its volume. Here our beakers of hydrochloric acid represent the raw materials which need to enter the cell from the outside in order for its metabolic reactions to take place. Exchange of materials across the cell membrane often occurs through the process of diffusion, where dissolved molecules move from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration. When the cubes are placed in the hydrochloric acid, the acid representing the raw materials will diffuse into the cubes, turning the indicator clear. Let's see how this rate of diffusion varies. Raw materials must be able to reach all parts of a cell's volume quickly. Notice how the acid is diffusing into each cube at the same rate, but that in a given time period it is reaching a greater proportion of the volume in the smaller cube as opposed to the bigger cube. Eventually the acid reaches the center of the one centimeter cube, but in the same time period it does not reach the center of the three centimeter cube. So why is this important? Notice that when volume is too large relative to surface area or the surface area to volume ratio is too small as in the three centimeter cube, diffusion cannot occur at high enough rates to supply its raw materials to the whole volume of the cell. At this point, the cell cannot get any larger. 